is behind the thumbnail together. Um, I guess just to kick us off, going, can you tell us a little bit about how it came about in the first place? Yeah, well, it all started right here. Ironically enough, uh, four, four, five years ago, four years ago, I think. Adam was part of Here We Stay, which he talks about at the end of the show, which was a, a kind of little community performance that was taking place just in the, the other little studio here. And um, I, I went along to see it. It was a, a pre-show performance before Glasgow Girls, the other big musical that directed. And uh, there was lots of asylum seekers and Glaswegian people involved in the group. It was a real kind of community outreach uh, project, all telling their stories and just telling their, their kind of life stories really. And Adam got up at one point and I, I took a shine to him right away. He was just this kind of slightly shy, awkward, very lovable kind of teenage guy. And I thought, oh, okay, what, what, what's he all about? And, and then he picked off and, and in about eight minutes he told his story of being born a girl in Egypt and how he, as you have now seen the whole story, why he had to leave Egypt, why he ended up in Glasgow. And, uh, and I just remember a, a, a particular line, hey! <laughs> um, ab about saying that he was every bit a man, and he had me in bed. So sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I just thought he was an incredible person, an incredible survivor, an incredible spirit. And I went up to him at the end and just said, uh, <laughs> Look, we're not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Hey, kid, I want to put you in the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was a nutter, he had no idea who I was or what I do, he just thought I was some crazy lady. But he, he humoured me and we met up for tea and I just started to learn more about him and, and gain his, his trust. And, and this is the result of, of those, those chats and those meetings. Yeah. And it, he was never going to be in the show at that point in time. Yeah. Uh, Adam was very open to saying, yep, yeah, use my story. If it's going to help other people, I want it out there. I, I want other people to, to feel encouraged and, and to, to feel inspired by anything I've been through, so, so incredibly um, generous about it. Um, so I went on the hunt looking for, for an incredible actor to play, to play Adam, and I uh, couldn't find him. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't find someone that could play Adam. And uh, just about that point where I was having an absolute cold sweat and going, shh, how am I going to make this show happen? Um, Adam called me and said, uh, would you, would you consider auditioning me to play the part of Adam? I, I don't want to presume, I'm not an actor, so, you know, I, obviously I might, I might be a bit shit, so maybe I can come in and do some speeches, and he wasn't shit. And then, <laughs> and then here is where we are, we decided to make Adam a, a two-person show, and I'm very glad we did. I think we found the, the, the perfect form to tell that story with Meshla on board as well. So I'm going to shut up because you probably want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to hold up by asking any of my boring questions either because there's, there's hundreds out there bubbling. So I'm just going to throw it up. If you've got a question, just put your hand up so we can kind of control this situation a little bit. Um, but I know there's hundreds because you've told me what they all are, so don't be shy. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, no one ever wants to go first. It might have come back. How did it feel over the time of making the piece and going over it? Looking back on your past with the what went through, what you went through, did it feel better or harder to get the piece done? Easier, I think. If if Adam was to be made maybe two years ago, I don't think I would have been ready to do it because I wasn't. I was in a better place, but I wasn't such a great place to you know happy completely with who I am. Um, so I I think it would have been much harder earlier. Uh, but now it's just it was it was hard obviously remembering some bits and pieces and actually having to do them, um, but not as hard as I expected. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Another question? Or a few hands up then. Yeah. How do you feel? Or better question is how do you hope that your story has maybe helped or inspired or like, changed people's opinions and views on the whole situation? Well, that was the main thing, really, why, I, you know, like, even, even before I was in it, I just wanted the story to come out, because, like, when I was in that place where I thought it was crazy, because I didn't know that my, who I am is actually a real, genuine thing, it's called transgender, I didn't know that was, that existed, I thought it was crazy. And having, having gone through that, thinking that you're the only person in the world that I feel that, that's really quite isolating. So I wanted, like, 
I wanted th this experience to inspire somebody because also like I've seen, I've watched many YouTube videos um, watching people um, transition, have beards and stuff and that really gave me hope because I didn't think that I can really look like a real man and have like a real beard and stuff like that. So like sharing this I think could give someone hope, you know what I mean, and just make them stay on that on the light and you know, stay strong. Not lose hope kind of thing. Yeah, don't that's what I'm hoping anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? I would have a question but like I don't mind saying it, but I keep it kind of on the low, like my boyfriend's trans and like he would easily like, kind of went through what you've done, like he moved away when he was 18 from his mum mm. and he came here still as his past self and he kind of had to walk up to it and he doesn't, like people don't believe him, mm. like he's went through all he's been on his team, like he's mm. had his top surgery and it's been so hard for him to get his bottom one. Mm. And like, it's because like nurses and doctors and people aren't believing him when he says it. And he like, he, he gave up at one point and just decided like he was he didn't want it anymore and he wasn't going to do his tea. Mm. And like, I didn't know how to reply back to him because I've never met anyone trans, I didn't know about it until I met him. Oh, I knew about transgender but I never knew it fully mm. until I met him. So I kind of like, I tried to talk to him but it won't go in his head because again, I don't know how to reply back to someone. Mm. So he kind of gave up to seeing you and like how you got your surgery and how like no matter what happened you just kept going mm. like, like, no matter what. Yeah. It, it helps me a wee bit, it just keeps saying no, I know mm. people that have been in your situation and yeah. now they've got the surgery and they are who you are, like they're finally who they are. Yeah. Who they are. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's well, the... so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's basically a whole bit of lesson. If, if I can do it, or any person can do it, then I think anyone can do it. That's really, you know what I mean? So... <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, I, I, I hope, I hope your partner uh, gets there. I really do. Yeah. Just, I don't know, maybe, yeah, just try to motivate him not to give up. Yeah. Because it's really worth it. <laughs> it's really worth it. At the end, it's really worth it. So, yeah. I hope he gets there. Thanks. Um, Sienna, so you mentioned the girl out of here. Mm. Did you still like, did you ever like speak to her again? Um, yeah, actually we are, we're not really friends, like friends friends, but we are Facebook friends. And she's married and she's got a kid now. Friends friends, 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 Facebook. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, yeah, we don't really talk a lot, but I can kind of keep up with what she's doing and, you know, uh, she's got a kid now, she's married and stuff like that. So, yeah, she's, she's oh, so really? You're fully trans now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's jealous. No, no. Nobody's jealous. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Tony's one here. <laughs> Tony, Tony Adam's wife is in tonight. Oh! oh. 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 She got me a bit of a cheer when I came on. Did you hear that? Oh. There was a in the group at the, the group of Tony's party. The Glasgow Just a question I've always been asked straight after the show by any group is. Is she really? Is she? Is she Tony? Is she really? Is she <laughs> really? Oh, so there's three people. <laughs> there's Nesha and there's Tony. Like, and they think the Nesha is a new, a new person that comes single, on. That's amazing. Oh. Every single time. Yeah, yeah, amazing yeah, acting. Yeah. Transformation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have to leave it there, guys. I'm really yeah. sorry because um, they've got more commitments. But yeah, have a quick. We get quite fortunate. Yeah. 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 yeah.